Hey, Adam from Buzzy. Wanted to give you a quick sneak peek on something we've been working on uh, as one of our new demo sites, and we'll make this available to everybody. We might even launch it as a, a SaaS application as well. Um, so it's an ad generator, and we wanted to look at using AI. So specifically in this example, we're using Gemini as Nano Banana, um, and uh, which is Gemini 2.5 um, image um, generator. And it allows you to come in and very quickly generate ads. So we we're about to launch the new Buzzy AI V3 and we're doing a lot of ads. And I thought, started looking at a lot of these tools out there. And I thought, hey, what about if we could build this very quickly with Buzzy? So literally what I'm showing you, uh, we started on yesterday afternoon, um, you know, worked on this uh, with the AI. We generated it uh, very quickly. Um, if you came in and let's say, look, this is your product. Um, you give it some information, um, you know, all this is um, editable, and then you can, um, you can generate some variants. So what will happen is this will uh, make a call and you will start to see the variants come through and in, in, um, usually takes like a minute or two. So just while that's, um, you can see over here, they're starting to, to generate. And um, I based this on some cool demos that I saw out on the internet that we we're looking at doing things and they were kind of geeky versions. And I thought, what about if we actually put this into a real working product that we can make available to anybody and it makes it super, super easy for you to be able to do that. So here comes the, uh, the first variation um, of that. So again, we just gave some um, product information like this is the product. Um, you know, we gave some, um, you know, atmosphere composition information. Again, all this you could just edit it and, and modify it. And now it will start to generate it. So how cool is this? It's just very quickly generating the ads. Um, we, we can add in um, like all the different variants for different form factors and sizes and platforms, you know, whether it's Instagram or uh, Meta or Google or, or other platforms. So um, at the moment, I just set it to uh, generate three variants. But again, you could say, you know, we generate 100 variants and then you could export this or we could do an integration with um, those platforms as well um, and, and so on. So that's pretty much it. So pretty cool. Um, again, if you see over here, these are, this is what the variant details. So AI generated what the variant is. It analyzed all the, 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 the brand images and everything that were given to it as a starting point. And then it generated this. Like how awesome is this? Just going to save people tons of time. So if we look at the back end, how we actually created this app, um, we started with a prompt, uh, we generated, we went through this as opposed to doing a one-shot approach, we went through this step-by-step. Step. So we got the brief, right? The brief is like a mini product requirements document. And the more time you spend on this and get it right, the better it's going to, you know, be, the better your application is going to be versus a one-shot and then trying to come back and change things. Um, it then generates the, um, the blueprint. Um, the blueprint is like a sitemap. And again, the, the first time it generated this, it, it, it kind of put a bunch of screens in there that we feel that we didn't need for this particular demo. And then at the moment, we've, we haven't generated every single screen, but we've done um, you know, a ton of them. So you can go in, you can edit the adverts, you can generate things and so on. It generates a theme. Again, this is all, so it's got everything from the mood and the tone and that, that is part of that theme. Um, you can come in, you can modify this. Um, obviously, if you gave it an image at the starting point to say, this is my brand and my style, then it will take as much of that into account as possible. And then we've got the design editor. So this is where you can come in and modify and just click on items on the screen and either modify them manually for each of the screens that you're building, or you can uh, just use the AI to make modifications. So you can go over here into edit mode. Um, you could go in and um, look at that. You can look at things like the properties and all those things and that edited manually or like I said you can actually come in and and edit this um, you know using the AI so you can select an item um, so let's say if you want to select that item and you could say go and you know change the borders or styling or it's missing this field and that so you can use AI to make those modifications um, very very easily uh, the cool thing over here is it actually includes the full content management system so everything from the entity relationship diagram um, so you can edit this data model and modify the fields and again as part of that initial process, before you start generating all the screens, it's good to be able to get this stuff right. Um, the next step over here um, is once you've got the data model, so it will generate a whole bunch of sample data for you. So these are things like a very simple structure in this, in this demo, which was, you know, we had the ads and then the variants for each of those ads. Uh, you might set up things like, um, you know, the different rules 
and that for the different data tables, which will do things like call the AI to go and generate that. So that's obviously an extra chunk over here that, that you integrating with external AI. And that is you can use tools like, um, you know, make and NA10. Um, we did this as AWS Lambda. So we are build, making this, well, this is an agentic flow when you build this. And we'll be adding that ability. You can currently generate front end code widgets with Buzzy and it'll just do it automatically for you. And we're going to be adding in the back end stuff very soon. So you can do it manually. You can just take the prompt and just give it to, um, you know, give us, give it the samples of our, for example, our AWS Lambda functions and just say, hey, this is, here's some samples. This is what I want to do. I want to generate this. And that's all I did. So, so I used, um, in this example to generate that, that, that rule. Uh, the code that runs behind the rule, I used cursor to be able to do that, but we'll have this native within Buzzy. So then I can come through and I can publish this. So this is running on the multi-tenant server at the moment. Um, so I could create a deployment, which is my own web, web everything, um, database, you know, middleware, everything running in web infrastructure. Um, and then we can also push that to, as native applications to the iOS and Android app stores. So, and then you, you know, all the other settings and yeah, over here. So versions, very cool tool. So, you know, if AI generates something that you didn't like, just quickly snap it back and take a split second to, to move back to a previous version. And you can either reprompt or edit manually. So that's it. Um, pretty cool little tool. Again, uh, we'll make this available as a, as a template uh, and that. But uh, yeah, just reach out to us. Love to um, share with how we did it. And we'll get a, um, an actual SaaS version of this that you can charge customers for these types of solutions as an example we've already done that for other things like the ai strategy app but this is just an example so we actually are using this in in-house now to generate our ads um so um we you know this was only done today but um you know in the future we'll in the next few days we'll probably start to pump out ads with this so pretty cool uh, thanks for watching and give buzzy a try and subscribe to our channel up down or wherever it is and give us comments. We'd love to get feedback from you. You know, this is bleeding edge technology, pretty cool. So full stack development, just using AI prompts. Um, we do have the, obviously a very strong integration with Figma. This used no Figma whatsoever, and you could create this full application. So yeah, pretty cool. Thanks for watching.